<laughs> just hung this board um it's gonna be one of my paintings for the michigan show i have coming up i'm talking kind of quiet because everyone's asleep i spilled strawberry sauce on it and there's a sticker but i'm gonna prime over it in a little while and it'll probably be the biggest piece that i'll put in there i'm excited i don't know what's going on it but we'll figure it out So I got the underpainting done. I think a lot of people don't really know what an underpainting is. I post them a lot on my Instagram, but basically I just use one color or two. I use blue and I use white to map out where everything's gonna go for the painting. So I'll get like the darks and the lights before I start and then I can move in to the area. And then I went through my Instagram and found this from a really long time ago. So I'm gonna paint that and it kind of goes with my theme of like nostalgia and stuff so I just really like how it's turning out and I'll update update you guys later when I do some more on it so I got a little bit of this one done and the whole thing is coming along nicely I'll do the other one which is gonna be so hard So I bought an easel because this summer I really wanted to get into plain air painting. I don't really know what it's called. Basically, it's painting outside. I also have one more package coming today with multiple different things. So here's my new easel. It's called a French easel because it has this box on the back to hold um, like painting supplies. I didn't know it came with a palette, but it does, which is pretty cool. And there's a strap for carrying it. And it all folds down into the little thing that you saw earlier. Package just got here as well. And I'll show you what I got. I got a new tripod because I've been wanting to like vlog in my car because it's probably the easiest time for me to talk but I don't have anything to put it on, so we're just gonna put it in the tripod. Um, I also got a body pillow that's black, or the cover at least, because I just wanted it to be aesthetic. And I also got this oil paint can for um, cleaning your brushes. It sifts all the pigment from the paint thinner, so you can use paint thinner over and over again. So I created this other little dude here, and then I the hot glue guy, which is over there, glued the little water ripples into the painting. Painted over it with primer, and now I'm painting over it again to hopefully make some textures that are cool. I don't really know how it's gonna turn out. <laughs> What's up? You could easily make this I a day in your myself. life video. You see me every 28 days. How does that make you feel? <laughs> could it make it longer? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I just peeled off all that paint, or all the hot glue, because it looks so ugly. I sound really sick, I think, because I am getting sick. But I have to paint over all these lines now, even though this one's kind of cool. These ones are really ugly. But I thought it was a good idea. Yes, not. So that's like two hours of time wasted. Love that for me. Hey guys, so I realized that I never got a clip of the finished piece. So here it is. Uh, it is currently up and hanging at Lindo Mexico Gallery. So yeah, thank you for watching this video. I'm going to play you out with a clip of my friends hiking up some sand dunes near my house. Not really, but like 40 minutes away. And make sure that you like and subscribe. Do all that stuff. Bye. Ew. We're on the top of the world. Let's see. Yeah, literally. I can't yeah, read Braille. It wasn't Braille. You got to get Sasha in there. Sasha. Sasha. Hey.
and we're gonna set this place on fire. No, yeah. we're not. Yeah. They're gonna they're gonna spray us with cyanide. Yeah, all of the above. Yeah. Subscribe.